actually, I should have done this so that I can use this box to give it, to ship it to you. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Yavira. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today I do have a giveaway. I'm gonna sprinkle that in some part of the video so be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end so you know the price and how to enter and all that good stuff also i do have a few ulta and sephora boxes here to open so let's go through all of that and right now at the time of this recording ulta and sephora are both having like a makeup sale so if you did shop the sale let me know down below what it is that you got i do have some things on my cart that i might share and check out today but yeah let's get into the boxes oh actually let's get into this one from Ulta and I don't remember exactly what it is but it kind of sounds broken I'm hoping that it is not broken so let's get into this package this is by nude sticks and it comes in this tin can or container I've never purchased anything from nude sticks so awesome it comes with a mirror and it is a little case so I wonder like like what do you use this for like to keep your lipstick so i have a lipstick right here next to me and actually my lip combo it is the uh, boldly bear lip liner by matt and also the charlotte tilbury penelope pink lipstick but like here i mean do you okay if you purchase anything from Nude Sticks before do you actually keep the tin can container thingy and use it or do you toss it like i'm a little bit confused because even if i have this in my purse it's gonna be rattling like i don't know anyways what i got is something that i haven't really used anything of this kind before but it's been around for ages and people have been using this sort of product forever but this is new to my collection because i tend to use powders this is the all over blush color in Santi siren and it does say that this is a multi-purpose sort of product so you can use it on your lips as like a little lip balm sort of action or do you mean like a wash of color on your eyelids for an eye look this is like a very pretty pink it's like a warm pink oh this is gonna be very pretty definitely a warm pink it's like a, a true rosy classic pink again the color for this one is salty siren and i will put all the product details down below in case you're interested in any of these items let's get into box number one because only the blush was in that one package so this is by ulta so i have one two three four items in here the very first one is in anastasia beverly hills concealer i haven't tried this one this is their magic touch concealer in the shade five the reviews for this one is quite good and this was in the not the 21 days of beauty by ulta but it like their beauty sell events or i'm not sure what they were calling this particular sales event but it's basically the 21 days of beauty um but yeah it was around that time and so this was 50 percent off actually everything that i'm going to show you today was a part of like that sale event that ulta and sephora kind of rival each other for so everything was half off this is again in the shade five the magic touch concealer i like how this is like a big size so hopefully it works this is the shade right there this one is high coverage which is amazing and what i like about that is that sometimes like if i'm just gonna be at home and i just want something like to literally cover up my under eyes i can kind of drag it a little bit down and then put powder all over it kind of looks like if i put on like a bb cream sort of thing like it's pretty much all that you need and so this one i kind of feel like it's a little bit dark for me of course i do have a, like a ring light here but if you see like the color difference right here it is a little bit too i guess orangey so hopefully it looks just fine on my face or am i going to the store and try like the next color down and possibly exchange it i'm not too sure like it's not terrible i i think we can probably get away with it now that we're coming into summer here quite rapidly today was actually like a very hot day for the spring so yeah this one's tbd again in the color number five the next product is by shiseido this is their benefiance the wrinkle smoothing cream i haven't tried this one in particular i have tried like their day version that has the spf and i love that thing so i was kind of debating on getting two of these because i had such great success with the very first one and actually i do feel like it makes your skin look younger i have no idea what it is but i was like okay well this one is not exactly the one that i tried but then at the same time like products with spf kind of break 
freak people out and I, I I was perfect with that one so I was like okay if this one doesn't have SPF then I'm probably gonna love it but then I was like well you know what if only that one worked out needless to say I didn't get two I just got the one but this is a big tub this is a 1.7 fluid ounce and Oh, it comes with a little scooper. So that is awesome. I don't think my other one did unless I threw it away. You can use this at morning and at night and I love that because I would rather have one product that I can use both ways and not have a whole different section for my AM and then a whole different section for my PM. It would just be a collection of products. So I am trying to narrow down to just having one particular product that works for both. There are some ingredients that, that are best at nighttime because in the sun, like they'll react act and it'll cost maybe like a rash or something of that nature but if i can find something that's good for day and night that that's perfect you know less money to spend too but yes this cream actually shiseido in general like pretty much everything i've tried from them is pretty good like my skin has gotten along with it quite nicely so i really do think that shiseido might be a favorite brand even though i haven't tried a lot of things and then i have two more things that these were actually free with my little purchase here. First one is a little makeup sponge and this came with the Anastasia concealer. It was one of those like spend X amounts from the brand and get this. Or maybe it was like buy anything from the brand. I've never tried Anastasia sponges. This is what it looks like and it has a little symbol right up at the top. Like a dome sort of tip. Rounded bottom. I'm kind of wondering like if I have to return the concealer because it doesn't work out like it's too dark. Do I have to return this too? The Benefit Gimme Brow. I got it in the shade three with neutral light brown this is so amazing just to kind of set your brows at the end so this is my second time that i purchased it the first one i had lasted me forever like that thing kept going it didn't dry so i was like this is such a good product because it really does tame your brows quite nicely i really do like this benefit Kimi brow product Okay, so this next one is free. So this is like a little sampler set. And it didn't say the brand. It just said like a mystery gift with purchase. Whenever you spend like an X amount, you'll get something. So this is on NYX products. The NYX Professional Makeup Plumping Serum and Primer. And then it has a dewy finish makeup setting spray. And a watermelon sugar lip gloss. As well as a lip liner. Epic Wear in the shade Pink Spirits. This was extra to me so i might keep it in the package i'll still show you what's all included but i think i might include this in the giveaway because it was a free gift with purchase to me so i can put that forward by gifting it to one of you this next box is from sephora so let's take a quick peek in here i think i ordered a perfume or actually i didn't order well i did order the perfume but it wasn't like something i purchased for i think the perfume was one of those you can enter a code at checkout to get like a free like makeup sample or skincare sample or something and i picked the perfume okay a benefit hula bronzer sample and that bronzer is really good i haven't had it in such a long time polish choice weightless body treatments two percent and BHA this is one of those samples that you get to pick like at checkout for free I've never tried this so there's that sample and here is the perfume super cute this is the Marc Jacobs perfect I haven't smelled this before oh my god this is so adorable check this out such a cute little bottle oh kind of thought I saw fingerprints so there's like a heart in the back and then it says MJ in the front. This is such a cute little bottle. I've heard nothing but good things from Marc Jacobs perfumes and I haven't tried any like ever. Going along with the blush, I wanted to try a bronzer or like a contour sort of alternate in a cream formula. So I picked the Nude Sticks bronze sort of color. This one's matte. This one's called Bondi Babe. And same with the blush. It says you can use it for your face, lips, or eyes this color I was kind of going in between two the reason why I picked this one is because I also watch Ali Andrea she is from Paris I believe where she's French and she is a makeup artist over there and I love the way she does makeup and um, I saw a video of hers from over like the summertime or something like she was talking about like if I find that video I'll link it down below um, just in case you're interested but she talked about this one and also that other shade that I was kind of like debating on what was it 
I don't quite remember. I ended up going with this one. This is the Bondi Babe. Oh, actually, oh. So this has a brush and this does too. I don't, it's not retractable. I don't know. I'm not sure that I will use this just because I feel like it might be hard to use. Maybe like on the go. But anyways, it does have a brush in, which just finding that out. Well, I'm pretty sure I knew I just kind of, you know, forgot. So I picked this one because I feel like I can use it as contour and also bronzer. It just so depends on the time of year. So that is the shade that I ended up going for. If I do end up liking the whole cream product sort of situation, then I think I might jump into that next shade that I was going back and forth on. It's called Bondi Belle. This is what that looks like. So basically that sort of color. And so I got this one, which is described as a bronze nude. So um, yeah, we shall see how it works out and maybe I will go to that one. <laughs> the last thing that was in my Sephora box is by Bobbi Brown. This is the Skin Full Cover Concealer and I got it in Cool Sand. I think I forgot that I got two concealers so that Anastasia might be going back, but this is what it looks like. And again, I got it in the color Cool Sand. See, actually, I'm gonna put it side by side with the Anastasia just so that I can decide which one I'm gonna keep. So this is Cool Sand and we reach for the Magic Concealer by Anastasia. I actually, I think I wanted to get the Anastasia for like the claims. This bottom one is the Anastasia and this one is the, the Bobbi Brown Concealer. So let's blend that out. They kind of look similar. So the Anastasia and the Bobbi Brown over here. I think I got like off colors. They kind of look the same in the sense that they're a little bit too dark. <laughs> Actually, before I go into my last makeup box, um, let's do the giveaway. So I'm going to be doing this giveaway to support 1,000 subscribers. So first, thank you very much to everyone who has commented, liked, and subscribed to my channel. I want to thank you so very much because I don't post regularly, so the fact that you've kind of just like hung out for so long and continue to be a subscriber and watch my videos, that means a lot. YouTube is actually not as easy to do as any other platform. So I hear like I'm not in TikTok, I have an Instagram, but I'm not like, I don't have like a large following at all. Like it's a very private page um, for just like me, friends, family uh, sort of situation. So I even like YouTube shorts, which is something that I kind of want to start doing um, just because I want to get that experience of like that shorter form content and see how that works. But quite honestly, like I really do like like this sit down and get into detail, talk about things or just sort of like do product reviews and all of that good stuff. Um, I actually started my YouTube channel like 11 years ago around that time. And I started with makeup, makeup and beauty. And that was kind of like my only part of what I was bringing over to YouTube. And so I did do one handbag review. That was my never a full one year review. So that was while I was in college. I took a break because I wanted to graduate. I feel like that was the thing. Like being an influencer was not like sort of a thing the way I think that started blowing up maybe like in 2016 for like the early people that actually stuck through it and you know started keeping up with posting, creating content and all that good stuff. But yes. So like in 2020, that's whenever I kind of found myself having a little bit more extra time. Like I was at home more and so I was like okay I watch YouTube literally every single day and even for the times that I wasn't actively posting I was really interacting on YouTube by watching other content creators like it's one of my go-to platforms um and so I was like wait let me just start talking about the things that I like again so I posted my first YouTube video um coming back which was my unboxing of my on the go in the mm size so that was awesome and then I just kind of took a turn from focusing on makeup but was also bringing in luxury which is what I was into and actually if you guys want me to do a video like of who has inspired me over the years on YouTube I certainly can do that I have like I can pull a list of things because I feel like as I've grown like my things of focus in that sort of moment have changed um so I've kind of like seen content creators and like different areas not just like you know beauty anyways 
Um, I want to thank you so much for deciding to subscribe because obviously it is free like you you don't have to pay anything um, to be a part of my channel and the fact that you can literally just subscribe to anyone that you would want and the fact that you decided to do that through my channel it does mean a lot to me like i said it it takes a lot of work to run a youtube channel and not just that like a lot of money goes into this um so thank you and so i wanted to pay it forward by giving you a little something i did do a community post because i wasn't sure exactly what to give for my 1000 subscriber giveaway so i did put up three different options and i got a few votes on them so that kind of helped me pick what it is that i wanted to give you and those three options were a louis vuitton bandeau in your choice of you know color theme print whatever and then the second one was a 100 $150 gift card to Ulta or Sephora plus a Chanel double facet mirror in the color black because that's the one that they have all year round and the third option was a necklace by Tiffany's and this would have been one that had the enamel on one side and then the returns to Tiffany on the other side on a 16 inch chain in the sterling silver so um, I put up the votes and um, this is what that looked like Thank you so much to everyone who did submit a vote and based on the votes I went ahead and ordered part of the prize. So I do have part of the giveaway prize here with me today and the other part I kind of need your help on. So let me go ahead and open this box. Oh actually I should have done this so that I can use this box to give it to ship it to you. Okay whatever. <laughs> Oh, the box. Okay. I was waiting for it to get to at least 50%, but I didn't. Um, so I ended up ordering you something from Chanel. So this is going to be inside this drawstring bag. Whenever you order from Chanel, you have the option of picking your gift or your purchase on a box or in one of these little baggies. So I chose the little baggie because I actually use mine. So I have one and I use it for like my camera and my tech accessories. So I know I used that. So I thought that maybe whoever was going to win was going to use it. I ordered a little card to write you something nice. So there goes that. And then obviously this is my receipt yes and so like i said you, you are going to be getting this drawstring bag and then i picked two samples for you so i picked the chanel the volume mascara sample and then i picked the coco mademoiselle chanel this is the eau de perfume intense it says coco forever so there is the little sample the second sample that i picked for you i hope you love those two samples and then this is like the second part of the price this is gonna be your double facet mirror or your mirror double facets like that's how it's spelled um so it comes in this little baggie that you can store yours in. I actually do have one in a colored version that they did last year for their Chanel Code Colors release. This is going to be the black version. And I kind of don't want to touch it because I don't want my fingerprints to get all over it. But this is going to be your mirror. How do I do this? Like, I want to show you what it is, but I don't want to touch it. Okay, I got it open. I used a bubble wrap that I had, but basically you will have your regular mirror and then your magnifying mirror on here. So that is the Chanel mirror. Seriously trying not to touch it. Um, it does have a little bit of like rubbing right here at the top, but that can come off. So this will be half of your main prize along with the little beauty samples. And then also too, I am going to include the NYX little um, forgive with purchase bundle that I just got in one of my boxes. Along with this, I am gonna give you a $150 gift card to either Sephora or Ulta. Just let me know which one it is that you want. I was kind of conflicted. I was thinking, okay, I'm just gonna get an Ulta gift card because if you are an Ulta like rewards member, you can probably use your 
membership points and the gift card towards purchasing whatever it is that you want um but then i was like okay well sephora has like more expensive things and it would be nice to get a gift card to be able to buy like the more bougie sort of items but then i was thinking well uh ulta also has like beauty services you can go get a haircut do your eyebrows at the benefit brow bar and just like buy some makeup things so it's kind of like what like which one is better obviously i shop at both um so to enter down in the comment section let me know what store you like the best or which one would you like are you a fan of sephora are you a fan of ulta like which one would you want and that is how i'm gonna know that you are going to be entering into my giveaway um do not give me like your email or your phone number or nothing like that because i don't want you to get spam and i also don't want to get spam so whenever i select a winner i am going to reply to your comments and ask you to tell me how to contact you and i can do that one or two ways you can give me an email address where i can contact you so that i can know your address that is the only thing that i am going to ask for um also your name if like your username doesn't tell me your name i am going to ask for your name and then your shipping address so that i can send you your package and the gift card and if you don't want to give me your email and you have an instagram that'll be perfect um just give me your instagram handle whenever i tell you like hey you're the winner that way you're not getting like a whole bunch of random follows i am not gonna put it down in the description bar just because i also don't want to get spam follows and i don't want anyone to kind of like dupe my page to then start scamming some of you so please beware this is the one that i'm going to contact you from it is a private page i wanted to confirm that i will be reaching out to you from my main page not my blooming holiday page but if you are into christmas or just decorating for holidays in general feel free to follow me at gloomy holiday and i have this amount of followers this amount of posts and i'm gonna try to not do any changes to that until after the giveaway closes that way you know for sure that it's me contacting you and obviously i'm only going to be contacting one person whoever the winner is i'm gonna put that down in the description bar here and also in my whatever video i have at the time that the giveaway has closed that way you also know that hey it's legit <laughs> like i'm not trying to scam you and i'm gonna try to get these um out right before like mother's day time just in case you are a mom and you want to treat yourself or you want to treat your mom or whatever you want to use your gift card for please do use it for yourself <laughs> but um just in case you know why don't you get that out before then so i'm gonna put like the the end date of the giveaway right here i'm gonna put select instructions down at the bottom basically just you telling me which one do you like sephora or ulta um and then uh also the indie i was thinking of doing this through like raffle crafter but then um if you are a youtuber that has hosted a giveaway let me know how you do them um obviously this is my first i would like to do another giveaway perhaps at like 2500 subscribers maybe 5000 subscribers Subscribers. so let me know your tips and tricks on how to host a giveaway so that, that i can take your advice on that as well and also thank you so much for being open on that part so um basically that is what i'm gonna be giving away to you based on the votes that i put on my community post and i think for the next giveaway i'm gonna probably do something similar to where i let you pick what the price would be for you or what would you like to win basically but but once we get there we shall know now let's go into the very last box and this is from ulta the makeup order that i'm gonna do today is going to be from ulta and mainly because i'm a vip member at sephora and for their spring savings events the vip members get 15 percent off their entire purchase plus everyone gets 30 percent off the sephora collection but ulta has a 20 percent off coupon on everything which i get a better savings over here at ulta that is what i'm gonna be um doing right after this showing you what's in my cart and what i'm actually gonna be buying oh this wow so this one, I got this off of a recommendation from Alice in Alice in the Rabbit Hole. She does great coverage on the Ulta cells whenever those come around. And um, she talked about how this one, it's its actually like a toner. So first, let me start by saying what it is. This is the Beekman 1802 Milkshake Hyaluronic Acid and Squalling Facial Toner Mist. And so I got this not for my face, but actually for my body because she was saying that in person, she loves the way this looks on her skin 
skin but whenever she goes on to record for youtube people comment down saying um stuff about like her skin looking very like either dewy or um oily kind of and she's like well in person it doesn't look like that so i took that comments in the sense of it's very like nourishing and moisturizing for your face so i was like okay instead of using this as a facial toner spray um which i do have another one that i'm currently using and i do like it i want to see if i can use it sort of like a kind of lotion sort of hybrid moment so i've never tried this there is great reviews on this this is often in the ulta 21 days of beauty sale or now like the beauty savings event so excited to try this one and basically you just kind of shake it up that's how you use it right so let me know if you have any experience with this one or any of their products because i kind of been hearing a lot of good things of this brand in general so that is my plan with this one and i kind of wish that it came in a bigger bottle yeah so i get a little bit of more savings through the 20 percent versus the 15 percent but obviously ulta and sephora don't sell the exact same brands i think i will still be shopping the sephora sale just because a lot of people talk about the giorgio armani uh, foundation and i kind of want to give that a go i'm hoping my store sells like the mini version of that foundation that way i can give it a try because i kind of don't want to order it online and kind of get like something similar with the concealers where it's not exactly a good match so um yeah i might try to shop that one in store and then also too i want to give the new rare beauty blushes a try and only sephora sells rare beauty at the moment they're not in ulta so that is that actually i guess i can go through what's in my cart at sephora currently so i have the cinema secrets makeup brush cleaner bro starter kits they do have the cinema secrets by itself but i think it's about the same price so i thought okay let me just do the one that comes with the little tin so i can use it as like a dispenser and clean my brushes through that and then that um armani beauty foundation that i was talking about i currently have it in the shade 4.5 in my card i feel like it's gonna be a good match this one says that it is for the light to medium neutral so i'm hoping that it will be a match i think with sephora you can use that discount code various times like the one with the ulta you can only use it one time so um that's kind of a bummer so yeah i think with sephora like throughout the days of the sale you can go in and out of the store multiple times and still have that discount that applies to you so that's kind of neat and then the next thing that i have in my cart is by makeup forever this is their voices for brows eyes and lips but i'm gonna use it as a lip liner and the shade that i have it in is in anywhere caffeine i also have another one in my little like love section that is called i just recently added this one too this one is wherever walnut and i think this was off of a recommendation from ali as well um or i think i heard it another time too the other one the inner word caffeine i heard it from uh alicia marie so yeah both of those kind of look very similar um but yeah so those are two that i actually don't have similar shades to that in my collection currently i'm trying to think of like all of my lip liners as well so i have the one liner in the shade anywhere caffeine in my cart currently but i was debating on getting the other one as well um the wherever walnut color on these swatches wherever walnut is number 606 and then on the anywhere caffeine that is shade 600 and i think i would be um anywhere in between these two they kind of look similar like if they were to be side by side i feel like it would be so like that one in that one i feel like if they were be swatched like right next to each other they would be highly similar i have anywhere caffeine which is a little bit more warmer tone and then the very last item that i have in my sephora cart it is a cleanser so this is by youth to the people this is the superfood gentle antioxidant refillable cleanser and this one actually comes in a glass bottle and i have seen the refill in store the refill cost 68 dollars um where they have a mini mini is two ounces but yeah i have the eight fluid ounce cleanser in my shopping cart at the moment that one is 39 dollars. so i only have those four items and i kind of want to get an hourglass brush every time i order but ulta offers hourglass and at 20 percent, i might as well buy it over there so let's move over to the ulta app and see what i have in my shopping cart there another item that i kind of really really want to get from sephora because they don't have it at ulta is by tom ford and this is their bitter peach lipstick <laughs> i have tried the 
bitter peach perfume through a little mini sample and it's one of my favorites so i should actually think about getting the perfume itself through the sephora events i'm not sure because top four fragrances are kind of expensive so i have to think about that one but the lipstick that comes forever bitter peach and i actually don't think that they make a lipstick for every single fragrance that they have but this one is so pretty let me show you it comes in this presentation red with orange and this is what it looks like it looks like a very beautiful wearable nude for pretty much every day and the signature tom ford imprint at the top and this is the collection that it comes with and that is the perfume bottle for the bitter peach this scent is so beautiful the only thing that is stopping me is the fact that it is 50 dollars, and, and even with the 15 percent discount it is still a very expensive lipstick so if you have tried any of the tom ford lipsticks let me know which one i only have one and it is in the shade addison i think it's like number 18 it's a very pretty color it's actually kind of like this um except this one's more warmer so this one is called sherry or sherry and it is described as a rosy nude I'm like how amazing does that sound like perfect and then with the lip liner i have my shopping cart girl if you've ever been like in instagram and heard like these little reels that say put it in the cart literally put it in the cart so that brings my total up to 197 whereas before i think it was 130 dollars so it is a very expensive lipstick if i do the fragrance instead if you're debating on whether to pick the sephora or the ulta card look at your favorites list to see which one has like the items that you want the most and that will probably help you decide for example that fragrance ulta doesn't sell that fragrance so you see why i'm conflicted like i didn't want to go ahead and buy the gift card for you because because it's like well maybe the other store was better um so tom ford offers that bitter peach perfume in a travel size for 80 dollars. so it is this one it comes with this own little fragrance bottle which is quite nice actually now that i think about it to have a little um case for your travel perfume that way it doesn't spill all over your handbag so actually that might be a good deal they have it in this other different size this one is a one fluid ounce and it is for 250 dollars that actually is quite expensive in my opinion but that fragrance is so lovely and this one is the bigger size um it is what it is 1.7 fluid ounces for 395 dollars so you can get the one ounce and then you can get the travel size which is 0.33 so that would be one ounce 0.33 and those two combined are 330 dollars and the other one the 1.7 fluid ounce is offering you 0.37 more so like a whole nother travel size more but I mean, for $65, they're offering, like, I don't know. It, to me, like girl math in my head is get the travel size and then get the one fluid ounce. And you're still under that retail price of that 1.7. Um, but I've never, I don't think I've ever purchased a perfume like this expensive. So that's why I'm like, uh, let's hit the brakes. But that mini size, I really like the fact that it comes with the container. That way it's not spilling all over your bag. So that's actually calling my name more than the lipstick, even though I don't like the lipstick. All right, let's go to Ulta. Currently in my Ulta cart, for the 20% that um, ends today so I have to kind of make this decision is um, I have this powder by Tarte it is called the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Press Powder I have it in the color light I went into my Ulta store and I swatched it and it was a perfect match but they didn't have it in stock like they just had the sample and I want to give this one a try because it has phenomenal reviews and I was going to look into the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder that a lot of people like and they rave about but this one actually has better reviews than that one itself yeah i think i'm gonna go with that pressed powder and that one is 36 dollars again i have it in the shade light in my cart and then i have the lancome sales booster xl mascara primer this primer is amazing i actually to be honest i haven't tried a lot of mascara primers because i've only tried this one basically and it is perfect it meets my needs it makes my lashes look beautiful 
helpful whenever I have that as a primer and it kind of makes like the actual mascara itself better. If you have a favorite lash primer that you have used and you love, let me know what that is down below. But this one is the one that I've tried over and over. And then I have a lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of her newest lipsticks and she actually hasn't had a, a new lipstick launch in some time. So she came out with some a pink and red tones and the lipstick tube is not like her traditional rose gold like I have right here. It's a red tube for the red and it is a pink tube for her pink color shades that she came out. If I'm not mistaken, she came out with five pink and then five red and I want to say maybe like five lip cheat lip liners. So right now in my shopping cart, I have the Matte Revolution lipstick in the red. I have it in Hollywood Vixen. I want to actually get a different one, but I think that that other shade that I have in my mind, it is very similar to another lipstick that I have by Charlotte Tilbury that was a like a Lunar New Year lipstick for last year, I think. The shade is like Cherry Blossom or Blossom Red, something along those lines, but it is like a red brick sort of uh, lipstick. So that other lipstick, I want to say it is called Mark of a Kiss. And to me, it looks very similar to that lipstick that I already have. So I'm gonna go with the other one that I kind of want, and that is in the shade, actually Cinematic Red looks very, it looks hot. So, um, ooh, Flame to Fame, oh my gosh. Um, so I'm gonna go with Hollywood Vixen because whenever I think about my red lipsticks that I have in my collection currently, I don't have something quite this color. I do have a True Blue by Burberry. I think it's called Military Red or, um, or something along those lines. So this one in the picture, it looks like it pulls like a cherry deep sort of fuchsia red sort of color. And I don't think I have anything like that currently in my collection. And then let's go back to our bag. Um, the next Next item that I have is by Hourglass. This is their Veil Powder Brush and it is a dual ended. So it has the fluffy at the top, the big powder brush at the top, smaller end. I kind of want to use it for like the under eyes. I did want to get the other one, like their, their ambient light edits brush. This one is like the least expensive. This one's 49 and the one I have in my cart currently is $65. So it's like, okay, I know that these companies bring these kind of coupon codes like towards the end of the year so I can get the next brush at that point in time and then with everything that i have purchased i'm just gonna stick with getting one brush this time around opting with the one that has the powder and then the smaller one at the bottom so that one is 65 dollars and then i have a lipstick by charlotte tilbury this is in the shade live it up and i have this one on my cart because i wanted one from her pink line which because the lipstick tube is pink i should honestly go for one of those instead of like her classic colors but i really like this shade in particular and um, I'm kind of like, I'm not quite sure which one I want from her pink line. I think this one being a little bit more warmer might look very nice on me. So I kind of have it in my cards. It's kind of like a TBD. Um, I might revisit the pink ones, the five new pink colors that Charlie Tilbury came out with to try to pick one of those. But if I don't find anything that kind of costs my name for sure, I'm, I think I'm going to stick with Live It Up. And then I do have um, one of her new lip liners. This is in the shade The Queen. And I have this one because it looks very interesting. So it kind of looks like a, a fuchsia with like a blue undertone. Feel like it would be very beautiful actually on the swatches. It doesn't quite look the way it swatches if that makes any sense. So I think that this would be so beautiful as an all over lip color and maybe do like Kim KW in the center or maybe just do like a gloss over top. I think it'll look very nice. And then in the pink lipsticks that she came out with, I thought that red carpet pink was more similar to that Live It Up color. So I do have it in my car and actually it, it does kind of look the same. So I think I might do the red carpet pink just because I get to get that pink little lipstick too. Um, um, but yeah, that is all that I have in my cart and um, what I will be buying, obviously, if any of these items do change, I might put that in a future video. I'm not quite sure, but please down below, let me know if you would like Ulta or Sephora so I can include that with your mirror and the extra little um, samples in here. Um, I might put in more samples, I'm not quite sure. So let me know which store is the one that you would want me to get you the $150 gift card to so you can go in there and splurge, treat 
treat yourself um, maybe go to your hair get some highlights do something i don't even know it's something for you for sure but thank you so very much for being a subscriber um, of my channel and i want to thank you so very much for staying and watching this entire video let me know if you have any questions down below thank you so very much once more and i hope to see you next time goodbye